Hey, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is for my Kitty Vet Warriors. Remember, you guys always have to be happy, happy, happy. You don't have to be. In fact, if you're sad, good, welcome that. But just, you know, welcome all of it. When you can uh, welcome the sadness, you get to really feel the happiness. My flowers are almost about to fix those before I get in the pool. Anyway, I want to let you guys know today what we're going to do is we are on week five, week five in one day. And we're gonna still do some of that posture training. We're gonna work on some kicking drills today. We're gonna work on some cardio drills. We're just gonna really keep pushing, pushing, pushing because we're getting there, we're getting there. I love you guys. So remember, stay in your light, stay in your truth, and always beware. And here we go. It's gonna be cold. So I hope you guys are watching this. Remember to like and subscribe because that helps me. It just helps encourage me. Just leave a comment below. Hey, I loved it. You know, can you do a little more of this? Just leave me comments because that helps keep me a little bit excited knowing that you guys are loving it. So like, subscribe below, and we'll get going. Here we go. It's an ice bath, 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 it's an ice bath. <laughs> Keep telling myself it's an ice bath. Let me try to get this a little bit more. There you go. It's an ice bath, it's an ice bath. All right, you guys, so remember, we're gonna do heel ball toe. But you know, no workout is complete before you have those flowers per put in perfect. So, get your crown set up, ladies and gentlemen. If you want a crown, you can have a crown too. Put the crown in. Put the super shades on. Oh, let's get going. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with that heel ball toe. Heel ball toe. Now I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to put those hands in. I'm just putting the off. Because I'm like, no, no, no. Here we go. I bet you never heard us. I sound like a billy goat, don't I? Heel ball toe. So one of the best clues, clues, one of the best cues that I can give you guys is watch this. This is what you're going to be walking like after the surgery. Your body's going to want to walk like this. And maybe you walk like that anyway. I used to walk like a duck. Waddle, waddle, waddle. And the beauty of having the surgery it's now my hip, because before I had waddles, because my hip was going bone on bone. And it just didn't even have room in there. It was just, it would jam up. So now, it's pushing back. I think that's why I only had to be on pain meds for three days. Um, because the pain that I've been in for 15 years was literally that high, that the pain of the surgery, even though it was painful, don't get me wrong, um, it was, it was maybe a little bit higher with the pain that I've been dealing with, but not that much. So, so we're trying to carry through. So instead of walking like this, if you see yourself waddling, try to push those hips through. So you're trying to push, push like that. So here we go. Push, push, push. Heel ball toe, heel ball toe. You know what's kind of crazy? If you guys like Katherine Hepburn, Katherine Hepburn is one of my favorite, favorite actresses of all time. And do you know that she would swim every day in the ocean? Every day she would swim. And she would say, it's the uh, vigor of the cold water was good for her. So Katherine Hepburn, this workout's for you. <laughs> God rest your soul. Beautiful. I'm just going to turn around and go back again. Just heel ball toe. Nice and easy. Nice and gentle. Heel ball toe. Sometimes you need to slow it down just a little bit. Beautiful. Heel ball toe. Roll off that heel. Gorgeous. Now after our walks, you guys should be memorizing this because I think I believe this is workout 12. If you start at workout one, you're gonna see that you guys are just jam, jam, jamming. Okay? So heel ball toe. Remember, I like to do about five minutes of these at least. Cannot do too many walks. So if you're at a pool and you can just get in a lane line and just walk in that lane line, 
it's amazing. People think, oh, you're not really doing that much. But here's the thing. You have such tiny, tiny, they're called intrinsic stabilizers. They're really tiny little muscles that surround that joint. And when you're doing this work, you're activating all those tiny muscles. So if you go from here to something else that's a little bit too hard, what'll happen is those muscles will never get developed. They'll never have that time in the sun. Just imagine like little tiny seeds. They need to have their moment in the sun for them to sprout and for them to get stronger. You like my green shirt? Perfect to talk about seeds. Beautiful. In fact, if you are going through a hard time, say you are going through a depressed state, the best thing to do is get out and get some sunshine. Put sunscreen on if that's your thing. For me, I don't like to use sunscreen because um, it blocks my vitamin D and I'm only out here for like half an hour. Now, if it was the middle of the summer, I would, I would have something on. Definitely. But in the winter time, we're in October. It's October, I think it's like the, I want to say it's like the 18th today. Something like that. The 18th or the 19th. Something like that. Could be the 20th. I don't know. I'm so bad with dates. Are you good with dates? Okay, so now we're going to do backwards walking. So we're just going to, I'll walk here in front. So we're going to go toe ball heel. Toe ball heel. Toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Beautiful, and just keep walking backwards. It's a little tough at first. It almost feels like your legs are paralyzed if you're doing it right. You're like, how am I ever gonna get that foot to go back like that? Because it is tough. And this one, the deeper in the water you are, the more difficult it is. Toe, ball, heel. 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 Beautiful. Toe, ball, heel. Toe, ball, heel. Beautiful. And you can see, you start to see if you get that seed turned on, you get that muscle turned on. You see how much faster I am now? your body literally, but if you don't take the opportunity to turn that on, it won't turn on. So very, very, very important. Toe ball heel, toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Oh, it's really weird today. You guys just feel so good. It's because the sun, there's no clouds out. So as long as that sun kind of comes right down, I mean, there's just not even a cloud in the sky, which is unusual for Tucson, because what I really appreciated about Tucson when I first moved here was um, just the, the the neat cloud formations. I've never lived anywhere where there's more beautiful cloud formations than there are here. Okay, gorgeous. Now we're gonna just do those uh, side sides. So what you're imagining is you're standing straight, you're, you're pushing out in that hip and you're pulling in. Pushing out in that hip and pulling in, just like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and travel with this and not stay so static. I like to move when I do this. Just as up, shoulder blades are back. Let that last the vastus lateralis and the sartorius engage. Keep those toes forward. Pull in with the adductor longus and adductor brevis. Those are your inner thighs. Just keep squeezing and then just push out. And chest is up, shoulder blades are back, and engage that core. How do you engage that core, Kita? Some people have asked me. Well, imagine there's a belt, okay? It's called the thoracolumbar fascia. Imagine you have this belt that engulfs what's called the transverse abdominis. It's this belt of abdominal musculature that goes around your waist. And imagine pushing on that belt, okay? So just go like that, okay? Now, pull your pelvis up and in, tuck down in your coccyx, which is your tailbone, and welcome to your core. That's your core. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back. But just remember to breathe, okay? You don't want to hold that. Because if you hold that, that's called the Valsalva Maneuver, and you don't want to do that, especially if you have high blood pressure. So you want to learn how to engage that core and breathe. It's easy. <laughs> You'll get it. Remember, like I tell Pat, gosh, I just love, I have two little angels in my, I have so many angels in my life, but Pat and Diane and Pops are my three little cheerleaders. They watch every single one of these videos, and you guys know, um, I don't do any advertising on my videos, that's why they're free, and uh, for you guys. Um, and so, 
YouTube doesn't rank them very high. So when you get this and if you're watching it, you can leave a comment or a thumbs up just down below in that space or subscribe to my channel. What that helps us do is rank these videos higher so more people can watch them and get some help. Also, leave comments. Say, hey, Kita, I would like to see this. Can you do a little bit more of this? Because I'll be happy to do that. So what's happening for me today on week five is I'm getting, <clears throat> getting a lot stronger. Um, what I'm feeling is just this beautiful ability to really push to the side now. You see all that splash I'm able to make now? I haven't been able to do that because my hips haven't been strong enough to do that. So see that push right there? You see those waves? That beautiful push? That's what we're looking for, but only do that if you think you are ready to do that. Push, push, push. You'll know, you just gotta really kinda connect with that body. Yeah, so I'm always telling uh, my therapist, I name my body. So when I'm in the water, her name is Guppy, Princess Guppy. Today she can be happy Guppy, get it? <laughs> so, you know, have fun, have fun. The other thing is, I'm gonna be starting this club that's gonna be called turtlefitness.club. And what we're gonna do on there is we're just gonna really celebrate milestones. Anything that, oh, this feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. So what feels good when I'm saying that is I'm feeling the muscles contracting. And it's just been so long since I felt them all working together. And what I mean by all, the glute medius is the one that we're really going after right now. That's the one that's been just really weak on both sides. Okay, now what we're gonna do is those monster walks. So remember, you're in a rectangle. You're gonna go from the base of the rectangle, here with one leg, and then pull the other leg. Here, here, here. And then you're gonna step backwards. Now the biggest thing is when you step, come together, pause, and then step out. You don't wanna rush this one. So I'll start, we'll start right up here at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the side of the rectangle, pause. Side of the rectangle, Pause. 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 And give yourself a little second to warm up. Sometimes when you, I call it sticking it right here, finding that balance point. Sometimes it's a little hard to find that balance point. Because I, I was telling the therapist yesterday, he was having me do an exercise. I, um, I don't want to say who it was, because I, I love all the therapists there, but he, it was not in the pool, let's just put it that way. And it was a therapist I'd never worked with before. Um, but he was having me go on the step up, and he said, it was literally, I'd done one. He was like, oh, nope, 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 nope. And I told him, I said, listen, give me about five reps, because I'm like an old Ford truck. After about five reps, if I'm doing it wrong, then you can correct me. But I need to warm up. How many of you guys are like that? It's like, give me a second, buddy. You know what I mean? Like, give me a moment to let those uh, motor engram sequencing patterns turn on and go, woo, this is where we're going. So just be patient, and you'll kind of see, now I'm warmed up. So if I was in faulty posture here now, now you can say something. So you can still see, I'm just a little bit behind on that right side, so this is really good. This is where I'm a little bit, bit uh, that reverse. So you'll see, I'll stick that one really nice. I'll stick that as a little bit, that was a little bit shaky. And this one it felt really good. But now watch, when I push off that right foot and come in, that's where I'm still, I'm about probably maybe, I don't know, I'm a while away from that one. It could be a month, it could be two months. Hey, I don't care. I'm here every day doing it. So she'll catch up when she's ready to catch up. Um, yesterday I was investigating the surgery because you know, I didn't really, I didn't really want to know a lot about what they were going to do before the surgery because I just knew that would just freak me out. Um, my therapist was like, you do realize they cut the bone and drilled in it to put your uh, prosthetic in there, uh, your new hip. I was like, ah! I don't know. I just, I, I never really gave myself the opportunity. I mean, obviously I know from rehabbing people, but I didn't really like go into the details of like, you know, he's like, yeah, they saw. I was like, okay, I don't even know all that. Because <laughs> I think sometimes, hello, Mr. Vacuum. I think sometimes we can investigate so much about an injury or something that it can actually limit our healing. So, you know, if you're one of those people that loves that and empowers you, go for it. But if it's something that doesn't feel quite, see, I was a little bouncy on that one. That one was not good. 
It's okay, that's still where that hip, you have to think that hip bone has been cut. So it needs to heal. This is not something egoically you can push through. This just takes time. and Everyone's gonna heal at a different rate. And you know, the thing is, that's how fitness is too. So just, if you're having struggles getting back in shape, listen, don't even worry about it. In fact, when I come back to teaching, my thing is I don't want to be the hardest teacher that everybody goes to because I'm so hard because that's kind of how it's been in the past. I want to be the teacher that everybody goes to and is safe with what they're doing. Beautiful. Excellent. We'll just do one more back. And again, just put some music on when you're doing this. Beautiful. I'm frost. Okay, so now what we're going to do is the multi, I call these the multi-hip exercises. So what we're going to do is you're going to start out with that leg coming forward. Just keep that leg straight and uh, hips and shoulders are relaxed but I want you to also just feel like you're functional so what I've been doing because I've been doing so much isolation you have to remember to start to integrate so isolation then integration you never want to do integration then isolation you want to isolate first so isolate that part of your body you don't want to bring the hip all the way up yet you just want to keep it I would say just come about 30 degrees. I'll move in different planes of motion so you can see. And I'm starting to integrate the movement of my arms so that my arms and my scapulothoracic rhythm is not isolated, okay? I'm gonna start to integrate that. Today is really the first day that we're doing that with this exercise. Okay, now we're gonna go from that to the pony kicks. We're just gonna bring that knee up and down and again, on this one, I just want you to flex up enough where this low back is not engaged. So you can actually put your hands back here and just make sure you're squeezing that glute. Sometimes I tell my clients, grab your bum, just feel that. Is it squeezing? Because sometimes you think you're squeezing and you're not. I'll show you in different planes of motion with this one. So you're just kind of pumping it. Again, what this is going to do is it's going to allow that body to have beautiful healing, getting all those nutrients to that greater trochanter, the femur bone, start healing it. Beautiful. Now we're going to switch sides. We're only going to do two exercises, switch, and then we'll flip back over here. So this is the surgery side, so we need to be really nice and gentle. I'm going to start to integrate what would look like a running pattern or any kind of a, a really nice movement pattern. One of the other things I'm working on too, and I'll, I'll slow down here to, to describe this to you, is instead of having this leg come this way, I want to keep it neutral, coming right in front, okay? Beautiful, and you can go into dorsiflexion, that means the toes come up towards that knee if that feels good. Now this is the hip bias surgery, so I'm only doing a couple on each one, and when I turn, I pick my feet up and I turn. I don't pivot off that hip. Because that's what is still very, very vulnerable and susceptible to popping out. So, you know, you want to just be really careful because that it's just that bone is just still healing in there. Okay? But in your mind, just think you're pumping beautiful nutrients in there. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back. Okay, now we're going to do the pony kick which is that quad's gonna come up. I almost do like a little shuffle kick at the bottom when I come up. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back. So you can say I bring it up to 90 degree, step down, lift up on that right side, change. You never wanna pivot. You always wanna lift that leg up and move. Okay, safety, safety, safety. Elbows are not out here. They're coming in clean to the body. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back. Lift that clavicle up. Remember to pull those abs in. Squeeze that glute. Oh my gosh, Kitty, you have me doing so many things. I can't even get over it. Okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna do to shake it out. So we're just gonna march. And I'm actually gonna go a little deeper for this one. And I'm gonna go into treading. So this is a new one for us today. We're gonna tread. And I want you to tread evenly from both sides if you can. So my left side, which is awesome, feels a lot stronger than my right. All right, let's do this for a couple more. 
That knee lifts up, those toes lift up, those arms are moving, beautiful. Just a little bit. I'm getting a weight belt <clears throat> that I can put around me that'll suspend me. But you can see just even that gets my heart rate up. Okay, so now we're gonna do abduction. So hands on hips, so that feels good. Or hands can go out to the side, arms up. So we've been doing a lot of isolation here. Today, I'm going to do isolation into a pose. A real, you see that pose? We're just gonna hold it for a little bit. I might get a little bit deeper. Where you can just see, see? Just changing just a little tiny bit. Do you hear my breathing? I don't know if you can hear it, but it's, heart rate's definitely elevated. Because what happens is the body perceives danger, danger, Will Robinson. We haven't done this movement in a while. So I wanna hold, and hold. You'll see how long you can hold it. Think of going from that ankle to your ear, pushing energy out. Beautiful, I'm ready to change sides. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back. We'll start with isolation. We'll do about maybe six. Now remember, this is the surgery side. We're just gonna be nice and gentle, dropping the shoulder down, really isolating. Toe is forward, this toe is forward. Chest is up, chest is over the hips. Almost think of pushing the hips forward, not too much, especially if you have an anterior scar like I do. You don't wanna exaggerate that. Okay, that's called a hyperlordotic arch. You don't wanna do that. You wanna just keep it nice and neutral. Beautiful, now I'm gonna go into some more functional movement. So we did the isolation. I'm gonna do some integration, lifting it out and up. Beautiful. Lifting it out, pulling it down. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful, out and up. Out and up. Now we're gonna hold. They just felt really good. If it starts to get a little tight, that's when you stop. Just gonna hold that stretch. Lift that up. I try to find a balance point. Beautiful and come down. Excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna do that 90 degree. And this one is a really tiny push. Like I want you to think six inches. So there's, think of a wall in front of you. You're gonna tap it with that front of that knee and then push back. We're gonna isolate and then we're also gonna integrate today. So we're isolating here. Nice, exhale. Straight from the back. Beautiful. So you don't wanna be here, you wanna keep that body right there. Exhale. You can just push it from that heel. Again, moving in that hip, push. Push, push. This is the side that I had surgery on, but this is this is my good leg. So this one I can turn a little bit faster. You'll see on my surgery side, I'm gonna slow everything down. Now I'm gonna go into integration. So I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna pull in. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna pull in. Almost like you're going forward into a deadlift, but you're just gonna keep those arms up. Reach out, pull in. So this is now gonna integrate erector spinaeus, some hip flexors, scapulothoracic, we're gonna change directions. Again, you're gonna see how different I do this on the surgery side. So this side, you can kind of, what I'm doing is I'm actually lifting up, kind of hopping, and then turning. Hopping and turning. I'm gonna just be really nice and gentle. It's a really light little hop, okay? Beautiful, gorgeous. Now let's change sides. So this is the surgery side. So we're gonna be at 90 degrees here, and we're gonna push back. And just ground down in those toes. Think of those toes as grabbing the earth. Now see how I went out like that? That's not what we want. We want to keep it right underneath that body. And just moving about six inches. So watch, I'm gonna come up and turn, okay? So I push down with my arms, lift up and turn. Push, 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 push. Up and turn, push, push, push. 
up and turn. Push, push, push. One more and push. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we're gonna do that function. So we're gonna push forward and come back. Push forward, back, push. I'm gonna probably do a couple more reps and not so many turns on this one. Turn. Up and turn. Up and turn. Up and turn. Gorgeous. Now, we're going to just go ahead and do a couple little bounces. I'm going to go back and do some tread. So my arms are my, my flotation devices. Just moving those arms back and forth. Treading water is better than anything. I mean, if you can just get into a pool and tread for like five minutes, 10 minutes, you will be amazed how healthy and strong you can be. Just doing this, all you gotta do, just move those arms back and forth, kick your legs out. You will see immediately any weak links that you may have. And I like to switch between what leg is front and what leg is back. Inhale, exhale. Because this is the first day that we're really doing a lot of this, I'm not gonna do too much more, and then relax. You're also gonna see that um, your body will have this natural, it's almost like you go up to a wall and you come back, and you'll feel your body going kind of, I don't want to say nauseous because it's not a nauseous feeling. I'm just super, in, super, super in touch with my body. But you will kind of almost have a feeling of, because um, we just did legs, we're going to shift to upper body. You always want to shift between upper and lower. Your body will tell you what feels tired. But anyway, you'll, you kind of get that feeling of kind of like, I don't even know how to explain it. You'll know what I'm talking about, but it's almost a feeling of, of um, your body will say, I don't want to do any more of that. And so when she says that, you move on. But the neat thing is, if you don't tap on that door, you don't get stronger. So you've got to kind of figure out where is that door and how can I tap on that door and come back and be safe. That's why working with a trainer is really good. If you're in Tucson, definitely reach out to me and I can teach you some really nice stabilization stuff that you can do. We're just, this little vacuum's on my feet. We're just doing freestyle scanning. And this is for our upper body. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. And you're really, you don't need to go fast, but I want you to pull hard. So this is really, you're gonna see, this is really gonna get my heart rate up. Really get that foot right there. Right there. And the second thing I have to go over it. No little guy, my little finger. And this feels really good. Because you've got fascia that connects from that hip all the way up into those lats. So when you're doing this right here and you're leaning that ear slightly down, you're gonna feel this, this beautiful space of movement. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, it's back in here. It's okay, he'll leave in a second. What should we call our vacuum cleaner? We'll call him Victor the Vacuum. Cool. Oh, it feels so good. It feels delicious on that hip and that back and those arms. You'll actually, when you're done working out, just want to go to fatigue on these. And we're going to go to breaststroke. I sit up as I push. Put this back in a little bit in our way. Here we go. Lift and push. Elbows up. Elbows up.
Take your time. Oh, this just feels so delicious today. I don't know why it just feels so good. <clears throat> I know it's because it's sunny out today. Ooh. Inhale, exhale, push. Gorgeous. Good. Now we're going to do butterfly. In the butterfly, we're going to again stay standing, push, lift, in, extend. Push down. What's good is to put a song on. <sighs> I have to get underneath. There we go. He's cleaned off. That little corner in there. Let's just a little vacuum. Oh, that feels good. If you do this right, you'll feel this all through the thoracic and open up and really bring energy into all those facet joints, your transverse process, your spinous process. Everything will just get a nice gentle massage. Again, just slow down, think turtle. Think turtle, don't have to over push. <laughs> okay, beautiful. That's a nice set. Now we're going to do back stroke, standing. I'm just come back. Reach. I like to look back. Also, your proprioceptive awareness. And you have to look back and follow your hand. I'm doing this is you always want to work a joint so we were doing butterfly here right so now I want to take it out and back and pull under the water again you're just opening up that joint don't force it remember turtle fitness water turtle fitness <laughs> what feels good again if it feels good to do singles Singles. Oh, this feels so good, you guys. Ha! I want you to do these this week. Diane, you get in that pool with her. You get pops in there. Pull back. Oh. And now we're gonna do a couple double. Pull. One more. Ooh. Wow, you'll see. Really get your heart rate up. And again, just listen to your body. Just always listen, listen, listen. Okay. And again, this is delicious. Remember to hang in there. Put your little crown of flowers on. Put your super shades on. Get your little happy necklace on. Do whatever you can to just get yourself in a, in a happy, good mood and just get out there and move. Remember, you have to move. You have to move. You have to move. Your body sometimes, uh, especially I notice in, in PT, uh, I just see when they're kind of coming into the PT, they're kind of waddling in there. You've got to just move, 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 move as much as you can. But at the same time, always listen to your body. So it's kind of just this like magical little balance that you have to have to find. But you're going to find it. All right. I love you guys. Remember to stand in your light, stand in your truth, and always be a warrior. I love you.